done. I hope you're well. Today I thought I would do a little get ready with me. So these are products that I use every single day on my face, in my hair. But if you want to see those products, if you want to see what I love, the things that I'm really, really into at the moment, this is the face that I would do if your fiance says you literally have 10 minutes to be ready. You need to get done. This is the face that I would do if you've commented on my Instagram pictures or on a video and you've said, I love that lipstick, love the mascara, love the brows, whatever it is, it's all gonna be in this video. And I think you guys are gonna appreciate this because it's very simple, but good. Very, very simple. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then you can click the little subscribe button down there. If you watch my videos all the time and you haven't subscribed, now's also the time to do it. I mean, if you've been watching them over and over again, why not subscribe? Click the bell as well to be notified of when I upload videos. I hope you enjoy this. So firstly, I'm going to need to sort out this mop of hair that I have going on here that is knotty and crazy and just needs some product in it to just keep it calm. So I'm going to be using the Tresemme Beautiful Volume Mousse. And this is not sponsored for those of you that are definitely going to ask. I actually just use this all the time. I'm not even kidding. This is the only product I use in my hair regularly. But I do this before I brush through my hair just so I can get the product through completely. So some at the roots over here, not placing all of it there. And then do the lengths as well. And I scrunch it up like that, just to kind of give my hair a little bit more bounce and body. Now that I look sufficiently crazy, I look like Hagrid actually. Give my hair a good brush. And for that, I only use a wide tooth comb like this, otherwise my hair just gets crazy. I've zoomed you guys in a little bit more, just a little bit, so that we can do skincare. And for eye cream, I'm using the Mizon Snail Repair Eye Cream. I've spoken about this in so many videos, and you guys must be tired of it now, but it's not finished yet, and I'm not buying any new products if I don't need to before the wedding. And then lip balm, I'm using the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream lip balm. I'm trying out the Estee Lauder Daywear Matte Moisturizer. I've been using this for the last little while and I really like it. It's got kind of like a, a gel texture rather than like a very very um, creamy thick cream. Um, and I just put this all over my face and this is supposed to keep you matte till midday so you don't get that midday shine which I know a lot of people, even I actually struggle with that to be honest. I'm fully just unpacking things from this bag. This is actually the makeup that I go for most days. I just chuck everything into this bag and I can do it in the car. I can do it on my way to work. I can do it on our way to church or to an event or anything like that. And it just looks really great and simple enough. So I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Foundation Primer. Really, really like this. And it kind of fills in my pores, which I need in the center of my face, like on my cheeks and actually just mostly on my cheeks and a little bit on the side of my nose is where I need it the most. I thought that I didn't have large pores. I was kidding myself. Something that I've been using a lot recently, and it's an old favorite that I kind of just pulled out of the stash. Like I've got a lot of foundations there and I don't get to use them all, all the time. So I pulled this out because I thought I haven't used it in a while. And this is the Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream. And I have this in the shade Rose Beige. Ooh rose beige and the stuff is amazing I absolutely love it I've spoken about it on my Instagram stories and you guys have asked about it actually quite a bit like when I post about it on my Instagram stories on my Instagram you always ask questions and I always tend to put too much on so I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a lighter hand today and I actually just use my fingers for this product which is not normal for me I like using um, brushes just because it's it's just a little bit more clean I don't have to wipe my fingers afterwards and anything like that but I really like this um, pressed in with my fingers you can see I'm just using my ring finger and I'm kind of just dispersing the product all over my face and I find that I get a really good coverage even when I use my fingers to apply this so if you are looking for something that's a little bit simpler to use every day and then to conceal any pimples I may have I've been using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. Then for concealer under the eyes, I'm using the Clarins Instant Concealer in the shade 02. For a little bit of color on my face, because I'm looking very flat, I'm gonna be using my Smashbox Contour Kit, and I used just the bronzer shade. It's that one, and I'm using a MAC. I think this is a 138 brush. Applying that onto my cheekbones. It's not going underneath to kind of contour, it's just to get some some color and some bronziness onto my face, otherwise I look very flat and sick almost. So just adding a little bit of color. Sometimes I'll wear blush with this, not always, because I don't always want to take like too many products with me. And also Le Fiance is often just like rushing me. It's like, you have five minutes to get ready. And I'm just like, well, basics it is then. 
So I put this kind of as a blush and kind of as a a bronzer all in one just to get a little bit of a little bit of color. For brows, I've been using the Smashbox Brow Tech Matte Pencil, and I have this in Brunette. I love the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I've run out of that, and I've been using this, and they're pretty much the same. This is just a little bit more expensive, but if you like higher-end products, or if you just like kind of spoiling yourself with makeup, then this is a really nice brow pencil, and it matches my brows very well. If you want to see an updated brow routine, let me know in the comments. Leave me a comment and say, brows that's it that's all you need to write and I will know to do an updated brow routine I speak about this all the time it's my go-to brow product I just I need it all the time so I'm using the essence make me brow brow gel in brownie brows if you guys have suggestions on other brow gel to use please leave a comment below so I have my max strobe cream in here I haven't actually been using this a lot but I used it last night I think that's why it's in here and this works flipping well even over other products I still really really like it very natural highlight like definitely not the vibe that I've been going for recently which is all the highlight and the vibe that everyone else is going for but it's more of a, a glow than a highlight you know like a that popping highlight can you see there can you see it can you see it it's like a glow more than a highlight so one thing I've really been focusing on with my lashes is making sure that they are properly curled, which I think has made a huge difference. You would have seen my Body Shop um, liquid peel video, and in that I just curled my lashes and used one specific mascara, which is the one I've been raving about for ages. This is the Catrice Glamour Doll volume mascara this is a waterproof one and i think it's absolutely amazing and the one thing i've been doing a lot is curling my lashes and taking the time to curl them properly so curling the outer lashes to the inner lashes and making sure that they're properly like curled because i want to get a lash lift but we're gonna do that before the wedding i think just so i can try it out and also do like lash extensions but for now i think that a little bit of a curl will do and I go crazy, like I actually curl my lashes for a while just to make sure that they're all nicely curled. Amazing. Look at that. Flip. And then for mascara, I'm using the one that I spoke about, the Catrice Glamadol Waterproof Mascara. And I cannot rave about this anymore. You guys have heard about it on my channel. You've heard about it in my favorites. I can't honestly recommend this highly enough. I think it's wonderful and it's probably only i think it's maybe 80 rand 70 80 rand at this skim it's worth picking up you're not wasting your money i can promise you that okay last thing i'm gonna put on some of these smashbox um always on liquid lipstick and i'm using stepping out love this this is the product that you guys have always been asking about when you ask what's on my lips it's this this stuff is amazing i absolutely love it i cannot recommend this enough i think it's like 200 and something rand and they're out now so you can go and look at them and swatch it on your lips and see what you think about it but this is probably my favorite shade i'm going to be doing a swatch video and a little review of them so if you want to see that definitely leave a comment in the description box or in the comment section and just say liquid lipsticks let's just keep it simple okay mascara on the lower lashes and then we're going to be done and I forgot to mention this, but I just popped back on to let you know that I also use the Me and Youth Quick Makeup Fix Setting Spray. Mmm, it smells so good. I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of very simple get ready with me. I don't ever do anything like over the top. This is my basic kind of look that I would do. Hope that you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. Also, remember to comment if you want to see an updated brow routine. Also, if you want to see a swatch and review video of these Smashbox liquid lipsticks, then leave a comment saying liquid lipsticks. So remember, brows, liquid lipsticks, that's it. Also, if you want to just let me know if you've used any of these products or if you want to suggest products for me or just be nice in general in the comments then please go ahead and do that i love hearing from you guys and subscribe if you haven't remember to click my face it'll come up over here and i think that's it i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye